Okay, so here we have everything we need for our leaf color pencil project. We need one, 9 by 12 watercolor paper, some Prismacolor pencils, or whatever color pencils you have to practice with. doesn't really matter. You'll just notice a slight difference between the cheaper brands and the more expensive brands. They blend a little bit easier and have a smoother glide. Then the paint eraser or paper stumps. I prefer the paint eraser. It's a little bit firmer and you'll be able to blend a little bit easier. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna work on our leaf colored pencil drawing and I am using Prismacolor pencils. You can get these at any Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. Um, they're kind of pricey, so I would definitely, you, definitely use your coupons to get this done. But I have just quickly sketched my leaf design on there very lightly because we're going to use the color pencils. And then I'm going to have my son Isaiah be my cameraman, and he is going to film me working on the color pencil, the color project, the leaf. <laughs> okay, so I've laid out the color pencils that I think I'm going to use. Now I may change my mind and I may go back to my tray of pencils, but for right now I'm going to start off with these and see how I go. Okay, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off the veins of my leaf and I'm going to just kind of get that in there. Some areas are a little bit darker and some are a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to work just kind of gently get it in there first. And depending on how hard you press or how lightly you press is the amount of color that will come off the pencil. So if you press harder, it gets darker and more color comes off. Okay, now we do have a little bit of a rounded, a little bit fatter at the end. If you need to, if the point on your pencil is not um, very sharp, always keep your pencil sharpener aside or an X-Acto knife aside so you can sharpen it to a point if you need it to. Sometimes it gets a little bit hard to get that fine detail in it. So I'm going to work on this a little bit and then I'll videotape a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see here, I went in and I kind of just laid in my veins, the darker brown, and then I'm going to start with my lighter colors first because it'll be harder to come with your, to start with darker colors and then come over with your light colors. So what I'm doing first is I'm going to lay in my light colors first so I can get those in there and then I'll come back in with my darker colors, whichever I choose, to come through here. Okay, so I'm going to utilize my darker colors over my light color. That's just how I'm going to do this project. Um, it's easier with color pencils to layer like that. And with color pencils, it's best to layer and add beautiful colors. So even though I have my reference leaf and it's brown, I may add um, some green, some yellows. Just use my creative license that I have and just go ahead and be creative and make the leaf beautiful. Brown's not very pretty, but that's what color we have right now in this season. <laughs> LOL. Okay, so one other thing I want to tell you about are these paper stumps. These are made of paper and they come to a point and these are great for blending. I use these for pastels, charcoal, regular graphite pencils, and we can use them also for the colored pencils to help kind of smooth out. Um, this is also kind of the same thing. It has like kind of a rubbery end, two different ends to it, and it does the same thing. And I'm going to show you, you can see we look very gritty right here on the um, colored pencils. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my end and I'm going to utilize this and just kind of smooth it out. So it's not so gritty. Okay, now I'm just going to continue working and I'm going to just go in here and I'm going to fill in the whole leaf as I go.
Little Miss Zoe's in here as well as my cameraman Isaiah. Now, when you utilize color pencils, the way I like to do it is I don't like any of the white to show through. I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna follow my lines. I'm gonna try to keep my pencil lines all going the same direction. Sometimes it's a little hard as you're coming up around your corners and everything. But do you see how gritty that's looking? So if we come in here, I'll, I'll show you the paper stump now. And that kind of softens the look of it. I'm going to switch out. You can see that's adding a little bit of black because on my pencil, uh, on my little rubber thing here, I have some charcoal probably from a previous uh, assignment. And that's okay, we can just utilize that as part of the coloring of the leaf. So the rubber is a little bit firmer and I can press a little bit harder so it blends it a little bit more. And this is going to work really good when we go to start blending with our other colors. So now I'm going to just continue working. Fill in my leaf. matter if I go over my um, the veins of it I can always come back in and add another color oops it's because I'm trying to hurry so you don't want to do that see how I have that horizontal line and all my lines are going this way and now I have that line so I have to work a little bit harder to take away that line I have to kind of bring come in here and make it a little bit darker in that area Now there's always going to be highlights and shadows. But right now we're just getting our foundation color in there. But with color pencils, see how I kept it a little bit lighter here? We've got the darker shadows there and it's a little bit lighter here. I'm not going to cover that. I'm going to let that be a highlight. So it's going to be a little bit lighter in color. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm just going to gently go over it. usually on the point it'll be usually a little bit lighter as well just depends on your leaf and what you have so right now I'm just going to come back in here and I'm just going to rub that in smooth all that out going over my little stem as well. My veins, excuse me, my veins. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to fill in, but we still need to come in and add some layers. So I'm going to come and I'm going to um, come back in with some of the reds, some more browns, and then I'll show you what I'm doing with that. Okay, now you can see that I've added a little bit more 
of my golden color and a little bit of these red tones. And so I'm going to continue working and you'll get to see what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to continue filling in. I haven't done any dark brown yet, but I wanted you guys to see how this is still looking kind of rough. And that's fine. A lot of people, a lot of different artists leave the textural look of it. Me personally, I want to come back in and I feel like I want to smooth it out. I want it to have a little bit smoother look to it. And you can see that I'm layering my colors in here. Remember our highlighted areas? I may adjust that a little bit, but depending on where the light is hitting your leaf, if you're drawing from life, that's where you'll add your highlights. So I'm come in here. I already came in once already and went over my dark vein lines. Another way you can use a smoothing technique is if you overlap, as you overlap your colors, you can also utilize the white colored pencils to really give a smooth look to it as well, depending on the colors that you're using. I don't want to use it right now because I'm not really having any white in the leaf. Okay, so I came in and I smooth pretty much everything out. Now I'm just going to get my other, I'm going to come in with a little bit of the dark brown. And I'm just going to start layering some of this in. I'm not going to put it all over. I'm just going to pick and choose where I want it to be. This is just a real fun leaf. I'm getting creative with it. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to darken that vein right there just so I don't lose them. You don't want to add too much of the dark brown just because the leaf is not really a dark, dark brown. And I don't think that that would be very beautiful if it's just all brown. You can see I kind of just put some in different areas. got some brown in there and I'm going to come back and I'm going to smooth it out. take a look at it and I'm going to see what I want to wear, what color, what does it need, am I missing something, is one side too heavy, the other side, if 
feels too light as far as the color range. Do I need to add more brown? Do I need to add more of the red color tone to it? So I can already tell that this side is a lot lighter than this side. And so I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna come back in with my yellow. And this is um, goldenrod. And I'm just gonna kinda come back over. I'm not even gonna be too particular. I'm gonna go over all my other colors that I have here. And because this is, this is the lighter of the colors, we won't have any problem with the darker colors shining through still. We'll still get those hints of the darker colors in there in the reds. I'm going to come back in this red. This one is called Sienna Brown. I'm going to add some of that a bit there. Come back in and smooth that out. actually going to get kind of a brighter yellow and I'm going to play around and I'm going to see what this is. This is yellow ochre. And I'm going to come in just a little bit with this yellow ochre. And I'm going to go over my other colors here. Now, a lot of times when you go over your colors with another pencil, it's going to blend it as well. I'm going to switch back to my other, my golden rod. And then the red is sienna brown and then I had another kind of reddish brown and this is this is I uh, oh burnt okra I'm sorry okra <laughs> okra <laughs> not okra we're not eating this is ochre <laughs> okay so we're gonna I'm gonna work on this a little bit longer and then I'll show you what I have done as we get closer to being finished. Okay, so as you can see, I have my finished leaf. I went back in, I add a little bit of this green color and a little bit of this brighter yellow color. And I just kind of went back in and fine tuned my edges. I also use this a lot to kind of give me a smoother look. And this is actually a paint eraser is technically what it is. It has little rubber erasers on the bottom, but I use it for several different things. For example, blending in color pencils. Okay, so here we are in drawing class. We are all working on our leaf study, and we're using our color pencils. And they're all doing really, really good. I have a couple different sets of colored pencils. But they're all doing a, a slightly different leaf. And since we're all doing different leaves, but kind of the same leaf, they're all going to look different when, they, when they're done with their work. It's going to be really exciting. And this is the one that I completed to give them an example.